and stay tuned for another exciting episode of Helix's Adventures Into the Void! What is going on, Space Cadets? Commander Helix 101 reporting in, and welcome to another edition of Helix's Adventures Into the Void. Now, this week you might be asking, why is it episode 3.5 instead of episode 4? Um, as some of you know, I came back from my trip recently, so I actually don't have the kind of footage that I want to start the next episode of the series right away. I actually have something very fun planned for it, and it's actually going to be another collaboration episode with one of my good friends, but you'll have to wait and see for that. Hopefully not this week, but the following, following week you might see that episode. <laughs> and the reason for that is because I need to sit down and get time with him to actually record the, the footage, and that's just because of our schedule. So don't worry, there's plenty more adventures into the void coming up in the near future. Uh, we just have to wait and get that content. What I actually wanted to take the time to do now with this episode is actually talk with you guys and open up the conversation a little bit more uh, with anyone that is playing Elite Dangerous. Obviously now we are into the new expansion with Horizons, and there is so many things that have been hinted at and planned for for the future and I am very excited to see how some of these things get implemented but I wanted to ask you guys what you think so far of Horizons and some of the promised things that they're going to be including in the game in the coming months, weeks, who knows when they're actually dropping it. I remember seeing some GIFs or images of one of the developers talking about some of the things that they had planned back a long while back, maybe a few months back, and in the background it showed kind of procedurally generated cloud systems, so maybe that's something that would hopefully be happening, probably not this expansion, but maybe in the next one. Uh, I would love to be able to actually go into the atmosphere of a planet and actually just see water below me and clouds, and I, I just, I think that would be incredible and it would add such a huge level of depth to Elite Dangerous just to make it feel like a more alive universe. Now, as I'm sure that a lot of you are aware of, uh, last month, I believe, we started finding barnacles on different planets, and we're kind of asking, what what is this going to play into? I mean, obviously, we keep hearing about Thargoids, and if you aren't aware of what the Thargoids are, it's actually an alien race that uh, it was a part of Elite Dangerous back when it first came out a long time ago, and maybe we'll see some implementation of that. Maybe we'll start getting, instead of just being attacked by random pirates in space, we'll be attacked by alien invaders and Thargoids and who knows what's gonna happen but that I am very very excited to see where that develops and I want to actually go out looking for some barnacles but again that, that will involve me actually going and landing on planets so that's something that hopefully will happen in the future and maybe who knows by that point maybe those barnacles will be something else altogether maybe it's something that's evolving constantly every single patch so we'll have to wait and see and find out what the developers do with those now the last thing I want to ask you guys and talk about is uh, the fact that I've seen some concept art of being able to walk around in our spaceships. And some of it obviously didn't make too much sense in the concept art. If you look at this one for example, uh, this is the actual inside of a Viper and it looks massive, but obviously we are well aware that the Viper is actually a much smaller ship now in this game. Uh, but it, nonetheless, the idea is just really awesome and I wanted to see what you guys think about the possibility down the road that we'll be able to walk around in our ships or even having our friends actually being able to be in the ship with us and maybe controlling the ship while we walk around or who knows what they're planning with this but I am very excited for this one and I'm hoping it's something that's included in the Horizons expansion because obviously the expansion has the entire year to drop different updates and patches and new things that the developers are adding into the game and yeah that, that's something that I really really want to see and I want to hear what you guys think about that too so let me know in the comments below uh, what you think of everything that I discussed today the atmosphere and planets being able to go in whether or not we'll see that this time around in horizons uh, the Thargoids and aliens and and even the barnacles that are appearing everywhere what your thoughts or theories are on what those are and even what you think about walking around in spaceships with friends or your own ship so uh, I really want to hear back from you guys I'm glad you guys are enjoying this series I'm having so such a blast recording it for you all so stay safe out there commanders and I'll see you all on the next level <laughs> <laughs>